That's a huge part of the problem. Not just GM, but all vehicle manufacturers feel the need to stuff them to the gills with all the technology, all the creature comforts, all while maximizing that profit margin. The profit margin on this high country is probably 100% more or even more than that comparatively to the custom here. So that's why you see always a lot of high spec, high trimmed example trucks sitting collecting dust on dealership lots because they can maximize a profit margin for both the manufacturer as well as the dealership alike. Clearly vehicle manufacturers need a wake up call. But what is that wake up call going to look like? What do they need to see in order to change something, right? These price tags, they're out of touch with reality. They're out of touch with the actual incomes of most Americans. Most people cannot afford these trucks now. And while that's abundantly clear when you look at the inventory levels continue to, to stack up, eventually they only have one choice. And that choice is to reel back, slow or even halt their production at their assembly plants, assembly lines, begin to slow that production rate. And that's not good for anybody. It doesn't help the vehicle manufacturer, right? We have seen that consistent growth in new vehicle inventory, and that's gonna to continue to be the case as we teeter deeper toward 2026.